Hello everyone, this is me, Sabia here, and I'm back for the second week of June Reads Chat from the 8th through the 14th of uh, June 2024. This reading is going to be for the sign of Aquarius. So Aquarius, let's see what's coming through for you for this week time. Just be mindful, it's a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest for personal reads. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. So let's see what's coming through for Aquarius. What is that that you can expect during this week time? We do have not enough healthy choices. I know the deck, we do have the camera. I feel like, you know, for majority of you, Aquarius, there is something that is going to make you feel like, you know, blocked. You're going to feel like, you know, whatever you have in your life, it's not enough. So you will be slightly getting ungrateful for things that you have and be more willing to get what you don't have right now. I really feel like, you know, you're so focused on what you don't have than what you have. So I really think that's a big, big alarming situation here because you have to make healthy choices during this week time because the more you're going to focus on what you don't have, the more you're going to feel lack and unhappiness in your life. So for some of you, I really feel like you, know, you are blocking yourself because of those thoughts that you're having right now, uh, be that in about love life or work life or home life. So you might be comparing your life with other people. So try avoiding doing that during this week time specifically because I really feel like you know, for some of you, you would be you would be kind of like, you know, comparing your life too much to the other people's life. Um, you will also have lack of confidence and struggle with feeling good about yourself completely. So I really feel like, you know, you really, you really have to work on that. Um, there is like some sort of sadness that you're going to feel around your life during this week time, which is not good. Um, and it's it seems like, you know, things are not as bad as you're thinking of them to be, to be honest. So we do have the next card, which is just healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. I really feel like, you know, right now, you don't have to compare yourself, your life with any other person or any other person's love life even. Um, you have to know that you are happy, you are good, you are, you know, on your own. So you don't have to, like, you don't know what's going on. Like, you know, even if you compare your life with other people on social media and stuff, um, you don't know what's the truth in their life. So don't, don't feel bad at all. And try to become, you know, more grateful for good things that you have stop counting your blessings because i really feel for majority of you you are going to have something or the other that you're going to complain about during this week time and it's more like you're feeling lack of something which is basically instilling fear negativity in you and which is also kind of blocking you so for some of you it might be kind of like you know um <sighs> reminiscing about the past you might be wanting to go back and pass maybe you're comparing your current situation with your your ex's current person uh for some of you if you have ended something in relationship just let that go let it be i feel like you know for some of you you might be comparing yourself with your person's new person like you know maybe maybe they have moved on and now you're comparing yourself with that person which can also lead you towards uh feeling bad and feeling lack of that love that you once shared in your life it's time for you to move on move forward um, you know, it's it's like, you know, you have the good memories with that person. That's pretty much it. Let's move on. Learn from the experience that you've had and try not to block yourself thinking with, with that pattern that you're having right now. So I really feel like, you know, for the majority of you, if you are thinking that you're blocked, you're not enough, you, you don't have enough, it's time for you to shift your focus to being grateful. Let's see what else is coming through for Aquarius. What else is coming through for you? We do have the action. Then we do have an adjacent possibilities. Now, whatever it is that you're concerned about and feel, feeling overwhelmed, I really feel like you, know, you need to know one thing, that if and when you take right you know, decisions in your life, when you make healthy choices in your life, you will see in, you know, endless possibilities lying ahead for you. If one door is closing in love, work or home life, the other door is going to get open. But right now, because you're so lost in complaining and feeling bad for what ended, what didn't work out, it's it's you are unable to see the possibilities lying ahead. You're 
overanalyzing everything in a negative and a critical way. And that's something that you have to work towards. You have to get rid of that thought process because until unless you do that, you will not see anything changing in your life. And I really feel like you know, for the majority of you, it's very important for you to switch your focus to right things than complaining about something that is not like, you know, worked for you. For some of you, 17 number could be a significant number, 24 number could be a significant number, or maybe within this very month time, on the 17th or on the 24th, you might get opportunities to move forward, move on with. Even if you have lost a job and you're reminiscing about that, or you're thinking bad that you did not, like, you know, you, you were not the chosen one who they did not fire or something like that, or you were not lucky enough to get the job. Just know that there are endless possibilities lying ahead of you. So try to take action towards them rather than staying stuck in the past, complaining, um, hoping that it wasn't different. It was different. Uh, so you could you could act different or react different. It's very important for you to just live in the moment and move forward rather than staying stuck in the past. So let's see what else is coming through for you during this week time, Aquarius. Okay, so we do have two cards here desire send a postcard to your friend beginning place a rose at home now i really feel like you know for majority of you you really don't see anything good coming through for you whatever your desire keep your focus on the desire not on the past or whatever didn't work out for you when you do that you are going to switch your focus to the right things or stick to that till you manifest what you want i really feel like you know you will have like i can i cannot emphasize enough on the possibilities lying ahead for you but you are so caught up in what you didn't get what you couldn't get uh be that in love or in uh money matters as well so when you focus on the current situation and be grateful for what you are having and start bringing your focus to the things that you want to manifest more in your life and start giving gratitude for that in advance already you will see how your life will change. So I really feel like you know, nothing is like lost. You haven't lost it all. If something you have lost, it's okay. But you haven't lost it all. So you have to stay positive and allow the divine to help you see the opportunities lying ahead for you. And um, I feel like your friends can help you break free from this cycle that you are having right now, um, be that in love or work. So make sure that you write a note to a friend or uh, send a postcard to your friend. Tell them like, you know, what do you desire? So they, they might help you with it. So I really feel like you know, there is somebody in there in your life who can help you with your current situation. Maybe, you know, if you if and when you sit with yourself, you will be able to think of who that person can be. So give your time to yourself. Think of someone who can help you in the current situation and take action towards that person. And you will be surprised how beautiful new beginning you will have coming through for you. So placing a rose at your home can also invite some positive energies in your life as well. So let's see what else is coming through for you for this week time. What else is coming through for you during this week time? So we do have two cards. We do have Memento and Proposal. A gift from someone special might come through for you. So be open to receive that gift. I feel like, you know, like I said earlier, Whatever you have lost, that's, you know, it's not, you know, it's, it seems like, you know, you think that your life is over, everything is finished and blah, blah, blah. You have new people, new opportunities coming in. I really feel like, you know, you might get a gift from an admirer, which can also uh, make you start feeling uh, good about your life overall in general. For some of you, there might be a proposal coming in. Your romance is about to evolve and level up. So don't lose hope. Something beautiful is going to come through for you. As you wait while you wait, keep yourself positive. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this week time. If it was of help, do like, share, and subscribe. Till I do the next read. Take care. Bye.